I just finished putting all of these bracelets together using Annie's Simply Beads Kit of the Month. With this video, you'll see several techniques, including what to do with your extra beads. So stay tuned. So we're about to make one of the most dramatic bracelets in this kit. I love this one with the quartzite, which has the rough side. Here is what the finished product will look like. I only grabbed one additional item from my stash, and that's a needle. I think that comes really in handy when we're working with wire and beading, and we want to make sure our knot is exactly where we want it. So I am going to show you first a surgeon's knot. So as you can see, I have them crossed over each other. A surgeon's knot means that not only do you wrap once, but you wrap twice around into that circle. And then you can go ahead and pull. Now the directions and I also suggest that you pull and make sure that it's tightened. Okay, then we're going to walk away quickly and do something else. And then it will loosen. It'll have time to stretch back. So you just wait a minute or so and then you re-tighten it back up and it should be ready and tightened to go. The last thing I'm going to do is put a piece of dot, a glue dot, and I love this from Annie. This is a huge stash of beading adhesive um, and it also has this really lovely pin top so it doesn't get clogged up um, but in between uses. And you wanna go ahead and bring this um, to you and go ahead and squirt just the tiniest little bit amount on that knot. I like to do it one on either side because it's not porous wire, it is um, rubber wire, so it doesn't have a chance to soak in. Then um, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it alone for a few minutes while that beading glue is drying. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get started with beading that wire. Now your first thought is that you're gonna go ahead and trim that wire. I'm gonna wait until the end and trim that side and I will also glue this other side as well and trim them both at the same time. Now we're going to start my pattern of beading which is one of these metal rounds and then three of the small roundels, these ones. So I've got almost one more to go. Now that I have that pattern on there, I'm going to go ahead and repeat that, oh, about six more times. I have my bracelet all assembled and put together. Now it's time for me to put this end through this quartzite bar. And this is where this needle comes in handy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and tie this knot by using that same surgeon's knot as I did before that has two loops. There's the first one and then the second one. And to make sure that this loop that I've just created goes exactly where I want it to go, which is right next to this metal round, I'm gonna go ahead and place it in there and put my needle point right next to that metal round. And now they're going to just suck up onto each other and that knot will be right next to that metal round. Now you can finish off tightening that up by again, pulling it tight and taut, letting it relax for just a minute, pulling it tight one more time. And now it's time to add our last little bead of glue and then we can trim. Our next bracelet is going to be one with this pattern. Now, when you begin um, a pattern bracelet, you can use your mat to lay out the seed beads as I would call them. Um, I would go ahead and lay them all out and make sure you count the number of beads that you'll need. I, I need, for this instance, need 19. All right, so then I have my beads and then I also have my spacers in between and I'm going to need 20 of them. 
So while I'm getting everything organized, I wanna make sure I get these in a nice straight line. Now if we run out of room, I just go ahead and start a new row and make sure I start with the one that I need at the beginning. And there you go, I have a pattern created that's going to be very easy for me to bead. I'm going to put a knot in this, but I'm not going to put it and tighten it. I'm just gonna create some sort of resistance for the beads at the other end of this 15 inch last here I go it's time to string to speed up stringing I probably would have used a beading needle but unfortunately most of them are too small for the thickness of elastic band that we'll be using but we'll get this done right quick because the holes in each of these beads is very large and not a problem I finished stringing my beads and as you can see that safety knot that didn't tighten works out great as long as you don't put any pressure on it. So if you bring up your beads to bead onto them, it tends to get a little tight. Let's go ahead and remove that knot. Now the only thing left to do is to take these two ends and knot them together. Now when I look at this bracelet right off hand, I can tell already that it's going to be a little bit too loose for my arm so i am going to take the liberty of taking off one rondelle and one large bead to make sure it would fit my wrist better that's the benefit of making your own jewelry you can always tailor it to exactly the way you want to make it so i'm using my surgeon's knot by going around twice pulling tight, okay, then I'm going to let it relax for just a second, pull tight again, and then use my beater's glue. So I finished all of the beads and all of the instructions that were in the Annie's Simply Beads kit, and didn't they turn out absolutely gorgeous? I love the way they look. Um, also, as a benefit, because I had to make a few smaller by taking three or four beads off, I ended up with a whole lot more. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can take your extra beads and make one more bracelets. So let's get them organized and I'll show you the pattern I'm planning to do. So the pattern I came up with was with three grays, one metal, one small round, three whites, a rondelle, and the large white. And that is the repetitive pattern. As you can see, I've laid everything out. It might actually be a little bit too big, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. And I will check in with you when it's got it all together. Here is that last bracelet right there by my hand. It really turned out special and it really blends in very nicely with the other ones that were in the instructions. I'm so thankful you joined me today to do this Annie Simply Beads. And aren't they adorable? I think this adds so much elegance to anything that you might wear. Thanks so much for stopping. And if you are interested in picking up your subscription to Annie Simply Beads, go ahead and look in the description box and I know you'll be as satisfied as I am. Thanks so much. Bye.